Hello everyone. Today is uh, I'm trying to talk talk about one one very cool thing about us. Um, as you might know that I'm, I'm I am the Java developers uh, working on uh, a, a very big company's uh, trading company. So most of the trading system now they are using uh, a, a frameworks, uh, a message passing frameworks we call it uh, Descriptor. It's very famous in in the trading uh, uh, platform. So this this framework is we can call it a uh, top top the best library framework for building microservices, which is using to passing the message between threading between threads in in your application. So for example, you have multiple uh, threads in your application. So how to uh, Communicates how to set up the communication between, uh, between threads, uh, which uh, provides the highest uh, performance for your service. So the scrapper is the best for me. This is the best library framework. Uh, which is already create uh, tons uh, from the LMAX uh, team already created. I think more than ten years before. And until today, in the Java world, uh, we I don't see any other frameworks can 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 defeat the 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 performance of this library. And then recently, I move in to take a look on the Rush and Rush ecosystem. Then I come to this uh, libraries, which is the very similar tools with a descriptor. So. Uh, it happens to be the concurrent uh, micro programming, which means uh, it's, it happens to uh, build a service uh, with a multiple threads and then uh, help us to uh, manage the communication between threads uh, without blocking, uh, without worrying about the uh, rate conditions or blocking issue. Uh, for examples, so I'm curious about this frameworks. So I, I want to see whether Crossbeam, which is which is so called so very nice, very best, uh, I can say in in trust nowadays, which uh, then compare with the best uh, library framework this character in Java. So. Uh, today I'm going to build similar applications, uh, very small microservices. It's typically is the 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 smallest, also the seamless microservices in 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 in, in for example in trading platform. For example, in, in trading platform, normally we have the input one, input two, which is reference price, and then a, a trading, um, a trade, uh, incomes, uh, trace stream data come from the upstream service, and then we also have the reference race or market rate from the upstream service, and then the 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 normally is, uh, uh, thing we need to build is a server to combine with the two stream, and then uh, we had a consumer thread using uh, uh, we had a consumer thread to process the two stream and then for example calculate the real time versions for uh, each currency pair uh, or, or and do any other things that in, for example and then after that we send out the out output to the DAO team maybe a Kafka, maybe a database, maybe a Redis and, or maybe we send the output to another microservice so this is the I think this is very normal and very seamless, very simple microservices we can think of. So let's see. Uh, now if we send uh, the input one in input to ten million messages, then uh, how much the 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 consumer thread it combine these two inputs and then go out to output and then if you process around twenty millions. Uh, message. Then I measure how long do it take for each 
each version, uh, whether it's Java is better, whether Rust is better. Okay, so I come to you, uh, let me show you the course I wrote uh, in, in recent time. Uh, okay, so the Java version. Okay, Ooh. okay, I have Java version here. Okay. So the the code I will uh, put into the questions for the triple, so you can clone and run it immediately. So basically, this one it only have one class is a decrypter, two producer, one consumer demo class. So in this class, I will have the main functions here. So basically, I create two thread one and two thread uh, and thread two, which is producer of thread one and thread two to handle the input. And between of them, we have a one decrypter uh, queue inside, decrypter queue inside, uh, share the same decrypter inside, and then we have the main thread, main thread of the this application is using e uh, e playing the role of the consumer thread. So we have the uh, producer thread here. We have the corruptor go inside. We have we have the corruptor go inside here. Uh, we put the corruptor here. Okay, and then uh, we then then we 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 uh, we will do a, we we send to we send to the the ring buffers every time. Continuously, we send what the the one variable the the cult the cult. Now we increase every time, and then we send to the queue, uh, ring buffer. That that the producer threads how it's work. Then um from the so you we we can see you know this 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 person because I just want to make sure the GBM is one up good enough. Before it really starts doing uh, measure, we, we really doing the, the measurements here. So let's take a look on the consumer. Consumer thread is very similar. Is is this is the function? Yeah, this is the function for the consumer threads. Consumer, this function we plug into here. Then the the main thread we be using this function to 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 process the the outcome from the test thread one and thread two, okay. Yeah, so that's the very simple decrypter uh, course. So after that we uh, we write out to the uh, output stream at the processing time. So we I just get the end time here. And uh, remove uh, and uh, uh, minus the start time here. So we have the data. Data is the 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 how long the take to process twenty million uh, events in the crypto. So I also have a uh, 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 another uh, uh, example code here, which we can we can jump in. We can move this one out. You see. This is actually, yeah. This is actually the Rust code, so that you can see the Rust code is very simple, right? We we get the we import the cross cropping here, and then after that, uh, we created thread one and thread two, which is producer one and producer two, and then the producer will. Uh, send the message into the channel. So we have the channel. We create a channel here. Is a is this one is the Rust we create for us a channel. So S is send and R is the receive channels. So uh, we in thread one we get the send channel. We send one and uh, in the uh, also, the thread two, we also send another uh, um, another data is the one also. So in the in the th main thread, which is here, we read the message from the receive channel here, and then after that we processing we we calculate the summary the sum of the message uh, we receive with the current with 
with the current sum and then we slow it here okay and then uh, we uh, we use uh, calculated uh, the the data which is the, the how long the the the, the time is need to process uh, it, it takes to process 20 million uh, events so every every thread we we uh, we will receive we will use this one we will use this uh, number 10 million you can see the number here in the white off here okay so it's very simple in dress uh, we compare to uh, you can see compare to uh, java right so java is a little bit longer and more course you can see here yeah yeah okay so uh -huh. okay so you here you can see this is the more yeah it's it's required Num the number is larger than a lot so that's uh, how we run and then after that i run is every every uh program i run 100 times I run multiple times to see uh, the data. So after that, I will have the data inside. You can see, oh, you can see here. Yeah, we, we I will have the cross beam result and this drop the report. So what I have to do, is I just need to plus. Uh, into uh, I use the pan and uh, numpy and math plus to plus the data of the uh, the uh, the data result we have for programming and disruptor uh, and then we see uh, we can see here for the crossing the num uh, the milliseconds uh, is uh, the the service need to to uh process need to uh the how long the 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 uh, cross uh application need to process 20 millions uh events so you can see here is around around 200 and 80 or 90 uh, milliseconds so normally 200 and sometimes we have a uh, three here 300 there right so this is the millisecond data we have and how about the decrypter so decrypter you see normally the data is more than 400 milliseconds 400 milliseconds huh. so uh, then uh, when we run this program so we will have the charts here look very nice so what the chart means the chart means show here is uh, the how many time i run the both of microservice uh, decrypt version and uh, and cropping and uh, this is the how long they take to process 20 million messages simple messages and then you can see here the yellow one is decrypt and the green one is cross beam so graph beam is most of the time is lower than 300 millisecond but uh, for drought uh, more the time is it uh yeah it's around 450 millisecond you can see here yeah so uh, what we can learn from this you know i i i very have very happy that we we uh we have the uh, decrypter. Oh, sorry, we have the decrypter here. Uh, this is the first time I, I, I feel this very amazing because the cross being a, a normal framework from uh, Rust help us to actually improve one hundred performance of the simple uh, microservice. Which I we believe that the corruptor is domination dominates in this space. So yeah, so that's that's all. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can try and see. I I put the repository code on the description on this video. Thank you for watching.